Hi, in this tutorial, we'll be talking about command line interfaces or CLIs. So basically every operating system, whether it is Windows 7, Windows 10, Vista, Windows XP, or Linux based operating systems such as Fedora, Ubuntu, Red Hat Linux, or uh, OpenSUSE, or Unix based operating systems or OpenBSD. So all of these have the command line interface. So basically it allows you to interface or communicate with the computer through the non-graphical user interface. So if you have seen uh, graphical user interfaces like this, which basically means anything which you can see. Uh, so like uh, these icons which you can see or any image or if you can just use your cursor. So that is something which is done with the help of a command line interface. So that is called the graphical user interface because you can see graphics in it while command line interface is just a black and white screen wherein uh, there will be a black, black background and uh, there will be some white text and you can just navigate through the system or you do, can do some modifications, you can create new files and basically you can do every single thing but it won't be having any graphics. So that is what CLI does and it is extremely powerful way to uh, communicate with computer. You can automate a lot of tasks. So we'll just see how does the uh, terminal or the command interface looks like. So if you're using Ubuntu, you will see this kind of terminal wherein uh, uh, you have some colored text and uh, some colored background. This is because uh, you are using the graphical user interface and this is just one of the applications which is the terminal. But if you want to restart this machine uh, or Ubuntu in the CLI mode, you can do that. So this is how it looks like and you can run some commands. So for example, LS is for listing down all the files and folders in the current directory or you can create a new file using let's say vi so vi abc hello world so it's hell world but okay it's okay and you can just escape and save it and if you will want to see what is the text inside that it is hell world so there are so many commands which you can try so let's say try and cd try so you can just go to the directory and list down all the files whatsoever are there so you can do anything with this terminal which the computer can do but not the graphics part and if you want to see how does the cli or command line interface looks like of a macbook pro it is called terminal and this is how it looks like and uh, it looks pretty much similar to what we uh, we saw in um, ubuntu so you can create a new directory, for example, BESC is the directory and you can go to the directory as well and you can create a new file, for example, vi.abc and list down hell world and uh, you can just save it and if you want to list down all the files, so we can see that we have this abc file uh, in it. So, so this is how you can perform functions or you can interface with the computer using the commands and there are so many commands so one of the most important commands to to know is the let's say man command which basically means manual so you can try man space uh, mkdir so it will tell you the what does mkdir command do so it makes directories and what are the different syntaxes which you can use so all of this can be done using the man command. So you can, if you're starting with the command line interface, which chances are there that it is the case. So then you have to ideally do M A N space for all the commands which are there. So, so that you understand, you know, different commands and, and as you will use them more and more, you will get proficient in using these command line interface and all the commands, which the operating system supports. So one of the main benefits of uh, using command line interface is that it requires very low memory because it is not using any graphical user interface. So no graphics, low memory. So if you're using uh, a machine which has very low memory, let's say one gig or two gig of RAM, then you don't need, uh, you can just uh, use the operating system in CLI mode and it will work flawlessly, very fastly. Also all the servers, they primarily are CLI based. So you must get comfortable with CLI 
uh, and you should master CLI so that you can lead a very successful career. And also you should learn all these CLI commands which your operating system supports and read manual of all the commands which are there so that uh, you can use them in combinations and CLIs, uh, so command line interfaces, they look uh, pretty much same uh, for Linux and Unix uh, operating system. So that is a great thing because you will feel like home when you are using a new OS because they essentially look same, they essentially work in a same manner. So the commands are same, most of the things are same across the operating systems. It's just that Unix and Linux, they are kind of same while Windows is like different world altogether, but it also has the command interface, but different set of commands and very similar kind of commands. And also one of the most important feature or the benefit of using CLI is that you can write or execute scripts to automate tasks. So you can do a lot of uh, automated backups for example if you're using 100 machines in your organization then you can just automate the backups by writing some shell script so that is a thing for which you don't have to go to any application because then you can just go to terminal or your command interface and you can just write down some bash or shell script and you can just run it and it will do all the work automatically so that saves you a lot of time and it makes you productive. So that, that is the goal of CLI or the command interface. And uh, in the following videos, you'll be learning about each of the commands which are there in Linux or Unix world. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. If you liked it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you didn't, then leave a comment so that we can improve it further. Do watch these suggested tutorials to learn even more. And do let us know what you want to learn on being skilled.